Hello, welcome to Physiotherapy Through Dance with the Brain Changer Arts Project. Today, we're going to get creative, and Layla is going to teach you a really fun game to help you learn how to choreograph your own dance. Now, you can use whatever music you like for this dance, but Layla is going to show you an example with some music of ours. So, before we start, I'm going to show you how to create your materials for the game, and then Layla will show you what to do with them. Right, so today we are going to be creating our own dance, and we're going to be doing this by playing a little game. So for this game, we're going to need a dice with six sides, um, and maybe a piece of paper, and also six little bits of paper. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to write the numbers down from one to six on your paper, and for each number, you need to assign a body part. Now you can choose the same as me, or you can uh, choose different ones depending on your ability or just your preference. So for my number one, I have chosen head. For number two, I've chosen right arm. For number three, I've chosen left arm. For number four, I've chosen my torso. Number five, I've chosen feet. And number six, I've chosen hips. And then on your six little bits of paper, you also want to write something. So on your six pieces of paper, you want to write different actions. And again, you can use the same as me, or you can pick your own actions. So my first one is slide. My second one is jump. My third one is turn. My fourth one is drop. My fifth one is swing. And my sixth one is circle. So we're going to use all these numbers and these pieces of paper to create our dance. Okay, so hopefully you're set up with your materials. Before I hand you over to Layla, let's do a little warm up. So do as much as you can of this warm up. I'm going to take you from the bottom of the body all the way to the top. So let's start off by circling your ankles. You can do these together or you can do them one at a time. Just see how much movement you have in those ankles. Stretch them out as best you can. And then let's swing the legs. Take them straight and let them there as much as you can. And then bring your feet back down. Let's march, lifting your knees up. You can even tap your knee onto your hand if you want to. Getting those muscles working. Lovely. And then let's come to the upper body. Take a stretch over the arms. And closing, clap the hands together. Open and close, clap, one more, open, and close, and then open, let's make circles with the arms, bring them overhead, and around, nice big circles, and then bringing your hands in front of you, circling your wrists, lots of circles today, and then let's circle the shoulders, Shrugging into your ears and rolling them back. And then let's half circle the neck, dropping your chin to your chest and rolling your chin on your chest like a rag doll. Bringing your chin to the centre, lifting your chin up towards the ceiling. And then breathing out to drop your chin and collapse forward, stretching out your back. And then reaching up. Reaching back, stretching all the way up, and then bring those arms around. Nice big breath out. And then we are ready to begin our choreographing game. Okay, so now we've got our all of our actions, all of our body parts, we're ready to play the game. So you want to get your dice, give it a good roll. And my first one is a number one, which is head. I'm just going to pick my actions for my head and it's a turn, I don't know if you can see that. So I've got turn for my head. Right, let's go again. We've got number five. Number five, that's a feet 
and our feet. Oh, it's going to be a jump. Right, so I'll pop that there. Feet jump, let's go again. Number two. And for this one, it's my right arm. And we have got, the action we've got is a drop. Right arm drop. And roll the dice again. Number three. Number three, uh, which is left arm, and it's a swing. We're going to roll it again. Got number one, which is head. And for my head, it's going to be oh, a slide. And last but not least, number two again. And number two is right arm. And it's a circle. Okay, so I'm going to start putting some movements to these words and, and we'll see how we get on. So make sure when you're at home, you're doing your own body parts with your own actions. Don't spend too long, just maybe about five minutes getting six different actions. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so as always, um, you can do this standing up or seated or however you feel most comfortable. So let's go through my movements, or you can go through your movements, but this is just a bit of a demonstration. So my first action and body part was my head, and it was to turn. So for this, I'm just going to turn my head to the side. That's my first action, nice and simple. And to the side. Now my second thing was to jump with my feet. So for this, I'm just going to take a little jump to the side. So, my first action was this, turn the head. My second action was to jump the feet. Now I'm just going to put those two together. So I've got one, two, three. And then my third one was um, the right hand drop. So I'm just going to keep this really simple. And it's just going to take a drop down. I'm, I'm imagining that I've got something really heavy in my hand and it drops. So we've got, we turn the head, two, jump, drop. Now my next on the floor was a swing of my left hand. So I'm just going to think about swinging up and down. But it joins up in this position. So it's, I've done my drop and I've got swing, swing. Right, let's go back. So I've got head turns. Jump, drop, swing, swing. Now this one is my head slide. So I'm thinking about sliding my head from one side to the other, trying to think about it, keeping along the same line. So I'm here, I've done my swing, and I'm just going to slide my head to the other side. And my last one is a circle with the right arm. So I'm going to use this arm to draw a circle and bring me back to standing. So if I put all that together, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And that could be the beginning of my dance. 